Today we're at Reliant Stadium in Houston, Texas. Good to have you with us for this battle between AFC teams as the Steelers get set to take on the Texans. Both teams have taken the field and the season is about ready to get started. Kelly in to kick this one off. He won't have a chance for a return here. This play will be the first of the game for the offense. Strength versus strength here today, John. One of the top running backs in the league against one of the dominant run-stopping teams. You know, this is like some classic heavyweight fight. I bet we won't know who the winner is till the last round. Only one man back. Where the counter play keeps his feet up. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the 19. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. One back. Number 32, the long setback. Grant is there for the tackle at the 16-yard line. They wanted to pound it through the middle, but they got pounded for a loss. I'll tell you, that was a perfect time for these guys to call a blitz. They got in there, filled the gap, and brought down the back for a loss. Here's a third and long situation. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. The defense forced the issue that time, John. The guys up front got good pressure, forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Williams will come in now to punt it away. Number 85 lines up deep for the punt return. From the 46, number 85 takes the punt to the 49. The ball in midfield will start the drive at the 49 yard line. First and 10. The Steelers with a four man front. Hamilton with a man in motion. Hand off to the tailback. Bradford is there for the tackle. A successful running attack requires good blocking up front to be effective. Second and inches. Ball on the 39 yard line. Come on. Only one man back. A little misdirection. Howard comes up to make the play at the 36. Fresh set of downs after the misdirection play. First and 10. Ball on the 36 yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Fumble. Loose ball. The Texans scoop it up. And you know the defense is very angry at that missed opportunity. Ball on the 25-yard line. on the 25-yard line. Bring it up. Bring it up. Set. From the start, from the start. There we go, baby, rock and roll. You gotta have it, the counter play. Williams is there on the stop at the 22. Stringer runs it for about three on the counter play. Ball on the 22 yard line. Ball on the 22 yard line. Under 10, 10. The Steelers come out in a nickel pack. Let's turn it up, D. The blitz is on. Sends this pass out of play. 
He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. If they can get it to the 15 yard line, they'll get a first down. Only one man in the backfield. Haley moves in motion. Drops back. Rowan. And he makes the grab. Johnny has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. First ten yards ten. away from the end zone. On the ten yard line. You gotta believe it. It's our the Steelers line up in a fourth three. Sanders is there on the stop. Stringer runs it through the middle again of about six. Eighth play of this drive. They're inside the five. Let's go, be physical. Going to the right. Houston comes up to make the play. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Ball inside the 10. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Throws to the end zone. This one falls incomplete. It didn't look like he had too much control on that throw. Sometimes on third down, you see those passes that kind of have a desperation about them. Here we go. This will take the lead. The kick is good. Following the field goal, the score is 3-0, Texans. Kelly looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Booming kick downfield. This one is taken by Hollings. On their last drive, it was three plays and out, and now the offense comes out onto the field once again. They'll start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Gets the call. Fakes the handle. Gets the pass off. No one near his receiver. The 30. Lewis is there for the tackle at the 37. That's why he's so dangerous. I'll tell you what. He's just a football player and a great ball handler. Anytime you get the ball in his hands, it can be big. So they have first and 10 here. On the 37 yard line. Harrison sends a man in motion. Gives the ball off. Number 58 comes up to make the play. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Gain of a handful. Ball on their own 41. The Steelers come out with three receivers tight. Cross play to the left. Number 55 is there for the tackle at the 48. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Don't make a play. All day, baby. Come on. They ain't got nothing. That's a hard count. With the counter play. Orlando is there on the stop. Number 32. Takes the handoff on the counter. Picking up five.
Ball on the 46 yard line. Ball on the 46 yard line. One of us will make a play. Hollings, the lone back. Here we go. In this direction. Fumble. The Texans pick it up. The fumble is recovered by the defense. Those eyes and reflexes are still working just fine. First and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Stringer, the lone setback. Gives the ball off. They're going to spot this one at the 39-yard line. It's three tackles so far for them today. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Stepping up, rolls left with the throw. Nixon comes up to make the play at the 30-yard line. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older, and this guy's no exception. First and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. Give it to the halfback. William is there for the tackle at the 30. On the offense. They'll get him for holding here. I didn't really see a hold on that one. That could be one of those phantom calls. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ball on the 40-yard line. Stringer, the lone back. Okay, baby, come on. Encroachment number 93. Still so he's told for encroachment. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. Ball on the 35 yard line. Ball on the 35 yard line. Here we go. Stay ball now. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Keep it up. Hand it off to the back. Nice play fake. The pass ball's incomplete. He tried to float one out there. The intended receiver on the play. Second and 15. Ball on the 35-yard line. Let's go. We like a practice. The Steelers with a four-man front. With the throw. The defense has it. Hamilton picks the wrong spot to throw to, and it'll be a turnover, John. Yep, sometimes you think you can sneak one by, but then the defense makes a great play on the ball and beats your receiver to it. First After the ten. interception, they'll ball set up shot at the 21. Right, let's go. Oh, one, one, one. One, Number 32, one, two. the lone setback. to the tailback. Stroud is there for the tackle with at the 26-yard line. Yard so after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second, Second and five. five. Ball on the 26-yard line. Hi, now. Deucer, deucer. Only back. one man back. Huh. Huh. Keep the throw oh. down. Hands it off to the back. Number 55 comes up to make the play. Number 32 takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. Move there, move there. Turn it up now. One of us will make a play. Hey, watch the screen. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. Can't stay inbound. He somehow got that pass off. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous and he has to get rid of the ball. Williams 
Williams is ready to punt this one away. Number 85 sets up, waiting for the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made. So at the end of one, the score is 3-0. Texans. And we're ready to start the second quarter. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Hey, let's go. Watch your eyes. The defense lines up in the nickel. The blitz is on. This one falls incomplete. Laid it up a little too softly that time. Second and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Stringer, the lone back. Hand it off to the back. Howard is there for the tackle at the 37-yard line. Stringer battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37-yard line. This on, this on. They give it to the halfback. Play action. Throws it. The wide receiver has it. Lloyd is there on the stop. Uh, at the 49. Great throw to beat the zone. I'll tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. So low! So low! Let's go! The Texans line up in the bunch formation. Gets rid of it. Richard records the stop at the 32. Thomas makes his second catch for a first down on this drive. First and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. So we're going to take it. Get it, Thomas. Get it, get it, get it. A little misdirection. Lloyd is there for the tackle. Running the ball consistently is a first step in creating a balanced attack. Gain of four. Second and five. Ball on the 27-yard line. Let's run, man. Let me go. The Steelers come out of the nickel pack. They'll spot this one at the 21. He wraps up the ball carrier, and his tackle total is now four. So he gets about five yards and the first. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. First and ten. Ball on the 21 yard line. Oh, okay. We like the pressure. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Closes it out to the left. Robertson comes up to make the play at the 17. Stringer takes the pitch for a gain of three. Let's make it four. Eighth play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. They're inside the 20 and have a three-point lead. Dropping back, throwing. Drops the interception. Wayne was the intended receiver on that play. Nixon had the coverage on the play. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 17 yard line. Let's turn it up, D. Set We're coming to run. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Looking to run it here. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. They're going to spot this one Wait. at the four-yard line. It's his third tackle of the contest. On the you think about guys with great hands? He's very close to the top, John. I'll tell you what. He does a great job of using his hands and not letting the ball get First into his body. Goal. He's worked very hard ball to improve his pass catching. Ball. And I think he's become one of the best out there. Stringer, Stringer is the deep back. Hey, hey. All on us, y'all. Hey. Hey. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Deuce, deuce. A little misdirection. Stiff arm keeps him at bay. Williams is there on the stop at the seven. He's there again for a stop behind the line of scrimmage. Nice play. He's one of those every down players. He's not a situational guy. You want him out there in every snap. 
He's smart, he plays with leverage, and you can count on him to make the big defensive play just when you need it. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Receives the handoff. Height is there for the tackle at the two-yard line. Didn't get the blocking they needed, and now it'll be third down and goal. It's third and goal at the two. Looking for the goal line. Williams is there on the stop at the three. No can do. The defense comes up with a stop on third and goal. They shouldn't have any problems with this attempt. The veteran connecting for the field goal. Brown caps off the long drive by punching a short one through. And some people may say, oh, this is an easy field goal. But let me tell you, after everything we've seen, there are no easy ones. Kelly comes in to kick off. This one is handled by Hollings. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. Ball on their own 20. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. Nickelback in this time. They soft, man. Go make the play. What's on the two, baby? Gives the ball off. Black is there on the stop at the 23 yard line. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels. These games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Four yard gain on the play. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23 yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Huh? Only one man in the backfield with the throw. The pass ball is incomplete. That short pass is incomplete. It'll be third down now. Third and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. All right, let's go. The Steelers line up in a five-receiver set this time. Gets the pass off. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is, you just stretch out to make that catch. Number 83 was his intended target. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Fair catch. Houston will start the drive at the 32-yard line. First and 10. Yeah, you see The Steelers with a four-man front. Let's go now. Pushes off. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He gets all the way in for the touchdown. He gets a great block right here to spring him for the touchdown. I'll tell you, he takes the defender right out of his shoes that time.
The point after is good. So they come onto the field and get a touchdown on the first play. That was one of those plays that an offensive coordinator dreams about. He draws it up, puts it in the playbook, tells the team to study it, and they execute it perfectly. Kelly will be kicking off. This one is handled by Hollings. They forced a three and out on the last series. And right the three minute mark. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. We're talking about Green. Only up, one man back. Going to the right. Orlando is there on the stop at the 18. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. Second and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Texan come out of a nickel pack. Black comes up to make the play at the 22. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22-yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Orlando is there for the tickle. Antonio Gates doesn't have great speed. He doesn't have great moves. He's just a big guy who can use basketball moves to make football plays. First Almost at the two-minute mark Ball now. on the 31-yard line. All day, baby. Come on. It's over. It's the cross to the right. No, no, no. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the 31-yard line. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Two-minute warning coming up. Two minutes to go. They'll go from the eye formation. Aim off to the tailback. Number 58 is there for the tackle at the 33. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. With the throw, this one falls incomplete. Gates was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Comes into the game for the punt. Number 85 sets up to run back the punt. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 28 yard line. The Ball Texans on their own 28. Will start the drive at the 28 yard line. First and ten. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Hey, hey. hey, hey. Dropping back the pass on first down. Pumps once with the pass right on target to the wide receiver. Boy, a powerful arm the brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first, first down. And ten. First and ten. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. Hamilton looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Long throw. Incomplete. Lloyd saves a big play by timing the hit perfectly. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles by going for a pick 
when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. The Steelers with a four-man front. Drops back. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Price is there for the tackle at the 40. He took what he was given, completing the pass. Yeah, what you want to do as a receiver who's facing zone coverage is to break into the secondary, find a hole, settle down, and show the quarterback your number. That was a good job. Houston calls a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. A little over a minute left. Ball on the 40 yard line. Not today. The Steelers line up at a 4 3. On the carry. Stiff arm to the ground. The teams run in the middle about 80% of the time. And that's inside the tackle. So you have to be able to have some success doing it. This time, there was no problem getting it up in there. First it's and first ten. and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. Throwing. The pass is picked off. Well, if you're going to get rid of it, you have to throw it where no one but your guy has a chance to catch it. That time, the throw was a little bit off, and the defender was right there to make the interception. After the defense gets the takeaway, they're now set to go at the 37. Harrison with split backs. Great fake with the pass. Nearly intercepted. Henderson was the intended receiver on that play. McFadden was there on the coverage. They'll need some good yardage here on second down and then should be in the hurry up for the rest of this drive. Second and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Harrison sends a man in motion. Launches it across the middle. He's got it. Lewis. He's there on the stop. He's one of the most dangerous receivers. Like to get the ball in his hands because he can break a long one at any time. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. They have to get some points on this drive and are in good position now to do that as they're in the red zone. Off to the tailback. Branch comes up to make the play at the 21 yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and 12. Ball on the 21 yard line. How you doing, baby? Clear! Clear! Set. Where you go, baby? Hey, watch the screen! Yeah, you see me. With all day to throw. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Third and 12. Ball on the 21 yard line. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Throws to the end zone. Jumps and makes the catch. Touchdown, Touchdown Steelers. Steelers. The receiver ran a perfect route, and he turned around just in time to see the ball and make the catch. Akers comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. After the touchdown, the score is 13-7. Texans.
Williams. He's just about ready to kick this one away. Number 85. Back to return. This one is fielded by number 85. Their last drive ended with a pick. And the offense right now ready to call their first play on this drive. The Ball Texans on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Here they come. Rosen almost picked off. Williams had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Second and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. They got nothing. Hamilton starts out of the shotgun. With the pass, he finds his man. Williams is there for the second at the 32. It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down, things like that. That's when he really shines out there. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Going into halftime, the score is 13-7. Texans. Just about ready for the second half as they line up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is handled by number 85. Number 85 accelerates and takes it down to the 26. The Texans will start the drive at the 26 yard line. First and 10. What's the hard count? Nothing. The Steelers with a four man front. Setting up play action. Rowing. It's batted away. Number 88 was his intended target. Lloyd with the coverage. Second and 10. Ball on the 26 yard line. Let's go, let's go. Check it out, baby. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. He tucks it away. Sanders comes up to make the play at the, the 30. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. Keep the throttle down. Throws it off target, but he gets it. Houston is there on the stop. They completed the pass for a first down. They did it against the cover, too. So the quarterback found a soft spot, and he got it in there. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Hey, watch the screens. We're talking about Rhea. Come on. Out of the eye formation. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Hey. You can't stop me. Hey, hey. Hand it off. Sanders is there for the tackle at the 45-yard line. Stringer busted through for a few tough yards. It's second down and five to go. On the 45 yard line. It's showtime, baby. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. The Steelers yeah, come out in a dime package. A little misdirection. Williams comes up to make the play at the 44. Trying to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. I'll tell you what happened. The defense was coming with a lot of guys in a run blitz. And the hole that that play was supposed to go through was filled with defenders. Ball on their own 44. 
Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Closing in. He was hit just as he threw. Grading pressure can really change the way an offense operates. They need to keep some extra blockers in, either a tight end on the line or a back that can help them out with their protection. Leckler will come in now to punt it away. Holling back to return. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. First and ten. Ball on the eight yard line. They're having no success running on first down. Which is one reason why they find themselves on the short end of the stick right now. It's hard to have consistent success without balance. Number 32. Rumbles forward for a gain of four. Ball on their own 12. Ball on the 12 yard line. Press throw. Right in this direction. Branch is there on the stop. Clipping on the offense. Number 85. Still the team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. So we'll have a second and long after the penalty. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the eight-yard line. Watch this here. He gets his helmet right under his chin, and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. Couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. And he waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 48 yard line. The ball on the 48 yard line. Start the drive at the 48 yard line. First and 10. They've been very effective, John, running on first down, and that's helped them grab the lead. Yeah, when you have seven or eight yards on first down, you're having a pretty good game. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ball on the 45-yard line. Stay back, stop. Set. No more, fellas. Get me going. Let's go. I'm coming through, baby. Hey, hey. Come on. on the call, play action. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. The powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Ball on the 24-yard line. Hamilton with split backs. All on us, y'all. He takes the delayed handoff. Williams comes up to make the play at the 23-yard line. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Second and nine. 
Ball on the 23-yard line. One back. Set. Only one man in the backfield. Johnson moves in motion. Back him up. Lucky, lucky. On the 10, 10. They ain't got nothing. A little misdirection. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He always displays great awareness, and he gets in there and brings him down for a loss. I'll tell you, he might be one of the smartest linebackers in the NFL right now. He anticipates, closes, then boom. He drags the ball carrier down for a loss. The 14-yard line is where they have to go to pick up the first down. They've done very well on third down to this point. Dropping back, gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Thomas made the catch, but was unable to get the first down. Make a good kick here. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Kelly in to kick this one off. This one is handled by Hollings. The offense takes over after they were unable to get any points on their last drive. Ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Number 32 is the deep back. Fakes the handle. Rowing. McFadden is there for the tackle at the 26. Let's almost got to him there, John. You don't always have to get to the quarterback when you blitz effectively. Football's about rhythm and timing. Bringing extra guys that makes him throw the ball before he wants to can upset that timing. Houston comes out in their nickel pack. Off to the tailback. Number 55 is there on the stop. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25 yard line. Hey, watch that screen. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. With the throw. A solid tackle in the Anderson open field by Orlando. You have to play him physically off the line. Bump him off his route, jam him, stuff like that. Because I'll tell you this, if you give him a free release and he can get behind you, he can do some real damage. First it's ten. first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Let's do our thing, let's do our thing. Hand it off to the fullback. This one will be spotted at the 38. The tackle is his fifth of the game. He doesn't have blazing speed, but he'll just run you over if he has to. And he'll come out of the backfield and make a few catches, too, if you forget about it. Second and two coming up here. on the 38-yard line. Everything you've got. We're talking about They've got receivers bunched together on both sides of the ball. The wide receiver has it. They're going to spot this one at the 15-yard line. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. Henderson holds in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. Ball on the 15-yard line. Ball on the 15-yard line. All right, now. Do so, do so. He got it into the end zone on their last red zone drive. Lewis comes up to make the play at the 13. Number 32 takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Ball on the 13 yard line. Ball on the 13 yard line. Crosses it out to the right. Orlando got very good penetration there. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Texans ahead of the Steelers 16 7.
The Steelers begin this final quarter down by two scores, but they're in field goal range right now. Third down now, and the five-yard line is where they have to reach. They soft, man. This game. The Texans come out in a dime package. Throws to the end zone. Picked off in the end zone. Harrison throws that one right to the defense, John. Yeah, he thought he had his man, but the defender was able to make that one move to get position, and it was over. So they're ready to go on offense after the interception. They'll start at the 23-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Gives the ball off. Wright is there for the tackle at the 27-yard line. You know that the guys up front love to run block. All offensive linemen do. Just out-muscle the guy right in front of you. They've done a pretty good job of creating seams and the holes for the backs in this one. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Receives the handoff. William comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. The offensive line loves to run block, playing physically against the defensive line. They've done a heck of a job of it out there today. Third, Third and, one. and maybe one. Ball on the 32-yard line. Stop it. Get out of the, the offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. They made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being ahead. Leckler is ready to pump this one away. Hollings is the deep return man. From the 33. The 50. The time's running out for them. So if they want to get back in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get into the end zone on this possession. The Steelers will start the drive at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Only one man back. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Black comes up to make the play. At the 36, Harrison completes the pass. Good pickup, about seven yards. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Texans come out on a nickel package with the pass, and he dropped it. He's always been able to catch a ball. He has soft hands and good body control. He ran a good route, and the quarterback made the right read. He just didn't bring it in. Third and four. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number 32, the lone back. Harrison sends a man in motion. Here we go, baby, rock and roll. Gets the pass off. The 10. Black is there for the tackle at the six. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time they needed to convert on third down, and he's there for the reception and the first down. Up 
After the interception, they'll set up shot at the eight-yard line. Let's go, D. Let's go. Hand it off. Howard comes up to make the play at the nine. Stringer manages a yard or two on the delay play. Ball on their own nine. Watch a man. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Danny, Danny, Danny. Don't stop. Don't stop. Come on. Fakes the throw. Pull it down. They reached him just as he was throwing. Taking shots like that will really affect his rhythm with his receiver. Third and eight. Ball on the nine yard line. Three shoot. And we get a tribute this year for their ability to convert on third down. Fumbled. The Steelers are there to pick up the ball. The defense makes something happen, causing the fumble and taking it back for six points. You know the play in question, the coach has decided to challenge the goal. Yeah, they might get this call reversed. So what we're looking for here is whether one of his knees hit the ground before the ball came out. And sometimes it's hard for the official because there can be a whole bunch of bodies around the ball carrier, and he can't get a good enough view to overturn it. Player was down before the fumble occurred. So he takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. You bet. They just went from a bad play to a good one. And that does a lot for your team. Now let's see if they can take advantage of it. Leckler comes into the game for the punt. Hollings into return. Time's running out, so they're going to have to score quickly. I hope that the defense holds them so they have a chance to pull one out at the end. Ball on the 43 yard line. First and 10. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Rowing. This pass is incomplete. You can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. You turn it up. Yeah, go. Get it up. Bring it. Dropping back. With the throw. In and out of his hands. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Everything you got. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Throws it. It's a screen. McFadden Anderson drags the ball carrier the down behind the line. Henderson doesn't get enough to convert, and that brings up fourth down. Fourth down and a long way to go. As expected, they'll go for it here. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. The offense turns the ball over on downs. They needed to keep the ball and try to score. Maybe next time they may try something a little different from the playbook. They'll take over at the 46 yard line. First and 10. Come on! They line up in the I formation. Number 88 moves in motion. With the throw, it's tipped. Oh, it's caught. Johnson, Johnson means about seven yards seven on yard that reception. On the play. Second and a deuce. 
Ball on the 46 yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand off to the tailback. Howard comes up to make the play at the 40 yard line. Good pickup on the ground as they convert for the first. Here's the thing they were looking run and brought the blitz. But the back just used his vision and elusiveness to avoid him and get past the marker. Ball on the 40 yard line. I'm coming through, baby. Stringer, the deep man. On the call. Houston is there on the stop at the 35. I'm impressed with their running game. It's a big part of their offense. And they've done a great job taking advantage of blocking up front. Second and six. Ball on the 35 yard line. From the start, from the start. They line up in the I formation. Howard is there for the tackle at the 32-yard line. Stringer takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. On third down, they have to get it to the 30 for a first. The backs are lined up in an eye. Gives the ball off. Running with purpose. It's a fumble. The Texans pick it up. Let's see what the call is here. Looks like it might be clipping. Clipping on the offense. Number 77. Still Peppers like that can just kill your team. You work your offense down the field, then you have something like that happen. Third and they'll be looking at a third and long now after the penalty backs them up. Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. Hand it off. Nixon is there on the stop. Houston can't keep their drives going, John. They failed on six third downs. Yeah, they're not calling their best plays on third down, and they're predictable, which makes it easier for the defense to make the stop. to put everything he has into this one. Now enjoy a two touchdown lead. Kelly comes in to kick off. Good distance. This one is handled by Hollings. If they want a shot in this one, they got to put something together on this drive. There just isn't much time left. First and ten. Will start the drive at the twenty-yard line. First and ten. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Rowing. Right on target to the wide receiver. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Danny, Danny, Danny. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. And he, oh, he had it and lost it incomplete. He can catch just about anything that the quarterback throws in his direction. He couldn't find a way to quiet that one down and bring it in for a catch. Third and inches. Ball on the 30-yard line. Rolling out to his right. Fires this one deep. And he steps out of bounds at the 30. That completion puts him over the 200 yard mark today.
First, first and ten. Ball on the third yard line. Hey, let's go. Only hey, one man in the backfield. Let's go. Let's go. With the throw, the wide receiver has it. Number 58 is there for the tackle. The yards that these receivers make after the catch are a great indication of their physical ability. It shows that they are creative, that they can create yards by using their speed and making the defenders miss tackle. McFadden comes up to make the play at the one, and they hurry up to the line. Hey, watch that screen! Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown Steelers. Steelers. A great throw and catch, and it's his second touchdown reception of the game. Akers comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. If you're just tuning in, this has really been a great game so far. And with that touchdown, only a few points separate these two teams. And clearly this game is far from over, John. You're absolutely right, Al. These guys are clawing and scraping, and now they're close enough to smell a victory. Good job by both the players and the coaches. Not enough time to try to get the ball back, so the onside kick is the call. Here we go. Houston recovers it. Stick on to the ground. The Texans will start the drive from the 40-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Let's go right. Johnson goes in motion. Looking to run it here. Robertson is there for the tackle. That's another big run. The offensive line has been doing a pretty good job of opening up some holes. Ball on the 34-yard line. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. Aimed it off to the back. Williams comes up to make the play at the 26. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. And that's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop him in the backfield, but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. Play football. Watch each other's back. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Pittsburgh pulls a timeout. They have no timeouts left. Watch the man. Let's go. Let's turn it up, D. Hey, let's go. He's on. He'll just take a knee. His last field goal attempt was from beyond 50 yards, and he nailed it. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score, Houston 19, Pittsburgh 
14. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.